Alright guys, welcome to a community tutorial series. In this one, I'm gonna be covering how to make a pause screen. So yeah. Uh, if you already watched my main menu tutorial series, you can skip this first part because I'm gonna be doing the basic out right here. But yeah, let's get started. Let's just create the scene real fast. Create the object cube. Center it at 0, 0, 0. And let's make it 20 by 20. Nope, why can't I say it one? Okay, let me just focus on it. There we go. And let's create a light. Directional, yeah, directional light. Alrighty, let's enter it at zero zero. Also, as I said, if you watched the first tutorial series that I did on GUIs, you can skip this entirely because it's just gonna be making the outlay for the GUI. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna drag this into here and rename this to floor. Oh yeah, and uh, also, I'm gonna import the first person character. You can e either use the first person or you can make your own. I would actually suggest if you're doing it this way, use the first person because we will need to disable the mouse look and the character controller. Something, I don't know exactly which two scripts we need to disable, but I'm gonna look into it. Okay, so now let's switch to 2D mode and right click UI canvas where is it here it is okay then on the canvas we're gonna go UI panel for the panel I'm just gonna keep the regular one oh by the way make sure you it's set to let's see uh, 16 by 9 because that's what most people's screen is and yeah it's gonna give you the best representation and I'm also gonna maximize the play of course you can view it right in here as you edit it but yeah let's go with the panel okay so we want it to be centered in the very middle and let's make it 200 wide let's see what it looks like in full screen 200 wide it needs to start up a bit because I'm recording at the moment yeah, I think we can go to 300 width, probably. Yeah, width 300, and let's go height 400. Okay, seems about right. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, I, uh, it looks here like it's over the screen, but it's actually not. That's because the game window is currently a bit smaller than it is when you play it. I mean, nobody's gonna play on this smaller game screen. Okay, if you want, you can change the color of this. I am gonna change it to a bit black. Yeah, because I want white letters. And if you want, you can also change the alpha. Currently it's at 100. You can make it lighter so it's more transparent or darker so it's more solid I'm gonna put it semi I mean it's 200 usually it's 100 okay so now I uh, usually attach it on the panel uh, UI button we're gonna need a couple of these oh yeah first let's actually add a UI text because we want a text element Okay, make the text color white. You can change the font if you want. I don't have any fonts. I'm maybe gonna get to, uh, another one so I can show you basically how to do that. But let's have it centered. Let's see. Let's first move it all the way up here. And. Uh, okay, size can be let's say 
600, no, not 600, 60 by 150. Okay, options. Let's actually make it a bit, sm actually a lot smaller. 30 seems about the right size. Now it's here, it's a bit over the screen, but now it isn't. And yeah, you can see we can press the button. Okay, now let's do the button layout. So since this is actually gonna pause the game, the first button is gonna be resume. Let's change the button text also. Resume game. Now you can uh, leave the these UI spirits or you can change. For example, I have I've already made this one. Let's just see if I can make it a bit more solid. But I'm gonna use the default one. So I think this is. 100 by default. Uh, yeah. Anyways, let's make it actually a bit more solid. 150 maybe. Okay, and width and height seem about right. We can actually make the panel itself a bit smaller in width, maybe 250. Whoops. 250 yep seems about right and then this we can go 350 yes yeah, seems good we just need to lower the text now I'm try gonna try and get some more textures for next time so it can actually look a bit better okay resume then we want to go again UI new button where is it? Here it is. Button. This one's gonna be options. Now I'm not gonna work on the. I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna make the options themselves. But I am gonna uh, show you how to do it. I mean, how to like make it, make the scrolling and everything like that. So, button. What is it again? Options. Wait, uh, then we want this text to be actually not options, but pause or something like that. Okay. No, actually I completely forgot. Main menu. Okay, so we have options, resume game. Uh, then let's go. Whoops, what am I doing? Let's go new button. UI button. This is gonna be load game. Okay, let's change it to the to say load game. And you might see that the properties. Whoops, not that. And this says stays text. We need to change the text in here to load game. The properties of all of these might not be the same, but there's actually a way to just copy and paste that. Okay. So set this to 20. Oops, not that. Alright, and we're actually gonna deactivate this button. So, interactable? Nope. Because I'm not gonna actually gonna work on a load game function here. Go another button. This is gonna be save game. It's gonna be actually completely the same as uh, the previous button. So yeah. Re oops, not that. Rename it. Save game. Interactable. Nope. And rename the text to save game. Okay, and one last button. Actually, two buttons. We need one to be for exit to main menu. Okay, change the text also.
All right, and one more. That's gonna be exit game or exit the desktop. Okay, rename it. Exit to desktop and rename it. Exit to desktop. Whoops, accidentally started saving it. And move it a bit lower. Nope, not the text. Okay, you can see that the resume game is actually a bit different from anything else. But I think I like how everything else looks a bit more. So I'm gonna copy this component from the options and paste it here. Okay, and I'm actually gonna change this text just the same menu. And if we run our game now, you can see it all opens right away, which we're gonna deal in uh, deal with in the next uh, part. But yeah, I think we can even make it a bit smaller, but this seems okay for now. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and next time we're gonna be working on activating this on a button press and basically pausing the game and everything so until then I'll see you all bye